In Acts chapter 11, we see this continuation of this beautiful dynamic in the life of the early church where the Holy Spirit is leading, guiding, providing, and even empowering the disciples of Jesus to do the work of the ministry. In chapter 11, we're told this amazing story that Peter has with the Lord, really about Peter coming to this understanding that he should not call unclean that which the Lord has called clean. And if you say, man, I'd love to dig into that, we'll get into your reading today. But let me share with you just one little piece of scripture. Actually, it's a quotation from Jesus that Peter shares in this chapter about our relationship with the Holy Spirit. In Acts chapter 11, starting in verse 16, Peter quotes Jesus in saying this, Then I thought of the Lord's words when he said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. You see, as a Christian, it's not about us seeking in our own might or our own strength to follow after the Lord and to be fruitful for the Lord, but it's really about the Holy Spirit, about Him coming in us and upon us to bear fruit and to empower us to follow Jesus. So this morning, let me encourage you, make yourself available to God's Spirit with an open heart, an open Bible, and even maybe a little bit of an open schedule where God can have the ability to work in you and through you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Truly, it's that relationship with the Spirit that brings living water to a parched soul.